Yahusha, a woman who give all praises on her and glory to Yah, Basham Yahusha, Basham Rakakodash. Double honor to our pastor, Ella's a great milestone and rule well. Citation to you, sincere Akim, the four coins of earth, preaching sincerity and truth to wake up the election of Israel, which you so called Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Indians, and confusion of faces that look like the other nations, but go back to our four parents, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which you the true descendants of Israel. All right? Hey, all, all women, all women are desperately wicked. Majority of our women, all right, seducers, all right, uh, they practice witchcraft, all right, they uh, they try to manipulate men in all forms as they can because they had learned the, the ways of wickedness, right, from the serpent, which is a man, which goes back to Genesis chapter the tree, where they took that wisdom, all right, that that doctrine, all right, from the uh, the serpent man, all right, with which that same spirit. All right, is the spirit of Cain, and also the same spirit, the same spirit of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man today, who is better known as the wicked. All right, Job nine and verse twenty-four. All right, tell you the hands, the earth is given on to the hands of the wicked. All right, by now you should know. All right, all right, and the true man of the Lord. All right, is the one that the uh, true man of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is the ones that are declaring. All right. These prophecies and revealing the truth. All right, starting the apostle El is a great man stone. All right, unto us younger ones that labor in the field, declaring the righteousness of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. All right, all right. This is the doctrine that, uh, or the that the the, the, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native Indian women. All right, or the children of Israel they follow. All right, they follow. All right. And if you're not, if if you if you don't, if you're not grounded in this truth, if you don't have the understanding, all right, of the doctrine, all right, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed, all right, by these women, all right. It's Ecclesiastes 25, and verse 24. It says, "Of the woman came it the beginning of sin, and through her we all die." You see. Just get me, get this precept quick, bounce back. It says, For I suffer a woman now to teach, all right, nor to, nor to usurp authority over the men, all right? But to be in solemn, no woman is supposed to be over the head of any man ruling, all right? Because that's what she was promised, that through this, uh, this wicked doctrine that she pushes, that she's gonna be able to rule over men, all right? Uh, being a god or a goddess as, they, as these foolish nations, all right? Uh, exalt their women or their uh, wickedness, all right? All right, what the scripture tells you, all right, in uh, first, uh, first Corinthians uh, 11, all right, and verse 2 all the way down, it tells you that Yahweh, Yahweh Shah is the head of the man, and the man is the head of the woman, all right, and Yahweh is the head of Yahweh Shai, all right? So there's an order of things. It never told you anything about the woman, all right, being the head over the man all right and that's what the wicked vibration of this world exercise it exercises that the woman has power all right over the man and that's how all uh these laws and so forth is set up that the woman should rule over the man all right but the most high yahweh bashem yahushai is bringing back all right it's men into order all right to put their houses in order all right all right, and it reads, for Adam was first formed, see, man before the woman, all right, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, see that, Adam was not deceived, but the woman was, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression, all right, and through her, all right, through her, we fall away, through Adam, all right, all right, bro, you see? Now, 
get this quickly. Proverbs 2, verse 13, 12. Yeah. For leaving the part of uprightness to walk in the way of darkness, you see? She turned away, all right, and receiving the doctrine, all right, of the serpent, man, from uprightness. Likewise, two thirds of our men, they follow after the philosophies and doctrine, all right, of the wicked, man. And they put, they set their, these women on high pedestals and saying that they're goddess, they're, they're the queens, and all of that. Never in the history of Israel, all right, the most I had put up, no woman to be a ruler over the, the, the children of Israel, the men. There's always men, all right, that the most I had uh, set up for, to, 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 to teach, to rule, to judge the nation of Israel, all right? Uh, it says, um, Proverbs 31 and verse 2. It says, What my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows? Give not thy strength unto women, nor the ways which destroy kings. You see? Give not thy strength unto a woman. Don't give up. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, to follow these women because what you you think that they look sexy or they look nice, you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna take this woman, you know, and follow her after ways. The Most High is gonna destroy you, all right? All right? Proverbs 18 and verse 14. For Yahweh or the Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is our strength all right he's our salvation our deliverer all right he's going to deliver you all right from the from the uh or the ways of this world all right all right he's going to impart in you wisdom all right this is psalms 119 and verse 35 it says, make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. So you see where the path is? The path is the delight to do the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Psalms 19 and verse 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So don't give the woman, all right, uh, uh, the opportunity, all right, to, be, to, to exercise her evil. All right, to cause you to fall. All right, but rather put your trust in your Hashem Yahushai, and He may guide you. Proverbs six and verse twenty-three. It says, "For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and the reproof of instructions are the way of life." You see, that's the light, the wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding of your Hashem Yahushai in order to follow the commandments, the statutes, and judgment. See? Right? And the Most High set up an order in which in a way that a woman ought to follow. Alright? This is um First Corinthians chapter 14. It says, let the, woman, let the woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to, to be under obedience, you see, as also said the law. They're supposed to obey their husbands, all right, humble themselves, and do as they are instructed to do according to the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. You see? All right, you can't deal with a woman in, in any other way but the way that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai set it up for, for them to walk, all right? For you to walk in righteousness and for them to follow after you, not the other way around that you are following after them, all right? 
1 Peter 3 and verse 7. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving unto, unto the wife as unto the weaker vessels, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. You see? So deal with them according to knowledge. All right? Let me just get this precept quickly. All right, so Sirach 19 and 22, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, see? Neither at any time the counsel of sinners is prudence. So, imparting wicked knowledge into a woman, maybe she's already wicked, all right? That's a false balance, all right? But when you teach her righteousness, all right, everything that she does wickedly, she's going to come into subjection of the word, all right? In the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to deliver you, all right? It's going to put her in order, and that's going to give that balance, all right? says um Sirach 26 and verse 3 a good wife is a is a good portion which shall be given to the portion of them that fear Yahweh and that good wife is talking about wisdom all right and that's the first wife that you have all right when you come in this truth that woman of innocence all right all right wisdom all right, which is likened unto a woman. All right, she gives you that portion of understanding how to deal, all right, with women. All right, with prophecies, you know, so forth. Whatever you have, Bashem Yahushai, it's set up at the moment for you to experience and to declare his righteousness. All right, she shows you out how to deal with these women. All right. Verse 13, the grace of a wife delight her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. You see? When a woman is humble, when she is grateful, graceful, she has understanding, all right? She obeys her husband, all right? She fattens his bones, all right? Verse 26, 23, it says, A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. But a godly woman is given to them that fear Yahweh. You see? Now, that's the balance. We're in that you're going to, the word of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the law, statutes, and commandments, and the wisdom that is given unto you, all right? You're going to be able to, 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 to put the woman in check and in order, all right? All right? Because women follow. Women follow the leaders, man. All right? They like power. They follow power. And Yahweh Bashem Yahushua is establishing his power. All right? But for a wicked man, he is given the portion of a wicked woman, which will destroy him. But the men of the Lord that fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, the Most High is going to show them mercy, all right? By giving them a woman, all right, which is going to be humble. All right, and receive this doctrine. And if she's not, she's not obedient. The Most High is going to get rid of her and give you a good woman. That fear, fear Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, and fear her husband as being a lord over her. All right. With that, I hope that it was edifying to the house of uh, David, the Bayaf Dawada, and double honors to our pastor Elias the Great Mustone, and always rule well. All right. In the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Shalom to the Baka Yasha Yasha Allah, all right, the elect of Israel, all right, Shalom.